So, so good. This is why I love it. But right now, I'm in so much pain. Welcome to another video. Now, the main goal of all these videos is, is to basically show everything that goes on in my life, the good things and the bad things. Now, at the minute, my body's feeling great, training is going really great, and I'm really uh, looking forward to getting on the road in around four weeks this Friday. Um, but today, I'm having one of those low days. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on with the planning of the event, which is kind of messed about with my head a little bit. Uh, and I'm feeling like a little bit low at the minute, so I thought I would document the, one of the bad days. Um, although trading is going great, uh, my head's just not there at the minute, and that's kind of taking me back to the whole mental health awareness, the reason why we're doing it, and uh, kind of sharing my own story um, about my own mental health issues, which I've tried to open up a little bit more about since losing a couple of my friends to suicide. And now I'm using these kind of videos and my voice to try and hopefully help others. So I'm about to start a workout. Um, it's gonna be quite a difficult workout on Zwift. And that's really just to, uh, to feel the pain, uh, to train hard and kind of get my head back in the right headspace. Uh, this seems to work for me, it doesn't work for everyone, but I find exercise is a great thing to clear the mind and get myself back into kind of normal balance. So I'm going to try and film most of my workout today. Um, it's not going to be the easiest workout, so it might be a bit hard for me to film, but I'll try my best. As you can see right now, I'm in a hoodie. Uh, it is very, very cold on my balcony. Uh, you've seen some of my videos, uh, I trade on my balcony, so it does get very cold in the Sydney winter, but you'll see within a couple of minutes, I'll be very, very sweaty. Um, I'm just heading over and I'll talk you through today's workout. Now, if you can see, today's workout, 10 minute warm up with a five minutes at 290 watts, then into five minutes at 145 watts and back into 290 watts. I'm gonna do that five times. So five on, five off, five on, five off. Uh, the five minutes at 290 watts is gonna be very, very difficult on the legs. But I guess it's going to simulate being on the road on the kind of tougher terrain, um, potentially on climbs, it might help with that. Um, and that's just kind of above my FTP. I haven't done a recent FTP test, I probably should, but this close to an event now is probably not going to benefit me at all. So this is today's workout. Uh, my heart rate's sitting at 60 beats per minute in a minute, but I'm guessing once I get on the bike, that'll be bouncing up to the uh, low 70s, 170s, early 180s, so uh, let's get stuck into it. I usually put YouTube on to kind of motivate me. In a minute I've been watching a lot of Tour de France in the background as well to motivate me. New white shoes as well. And the uh, white cycling shoes make you go faster. And we are off. 47 seconds into today's workout. Currently sitting at 90 watts. Maybe slowly building myself up. Heart rate is sitting at 88 beats per minute. Got a bit of a weird heart rate where um, it kind of spikes up and down and then it settles. I always find at the start of a workout, the heart rate goes through the roof and then kind of settles. Uh, one thing I have noticed over the last 18 months of training, when my heart rate does spike to 180, whatever it may be in the highs, um, it drops very quick after. And my recovery has uh, really speeded up. The only negative thing is I'm noticing, maybe because of the work environment, quite dusty in the air, um, that my asthma recently has been struggling, I've been struggling with my asthma, so on Monday I'll probably check back into the uh, doctor, get potentially some stronger inhalers, hopefully that will balance my breathing a little bit. So we're up to 110 watts now, my heart rate's sitting at uh, 100, 
a speed of 27 kilometers. Two hundred and ninety watts for another four and a half minutes. Just want to keep my cadence high and try to hit that sweet spot, so the pedals feel quite light. Heart rate now at one hundred and fifty-six. Heart rate now at one hundred and seventy-three. Ooh, feeling tough. And this is just the first five minutes of main interval. Okay, so the power's back down to. So 145 watts and now my heart rate is at 156 beats per minute I'm one minute into the five minute kind of cool down and then I'll get back into the 290 watts at five minute block always always when I start workouts my heart rate peaks I feel quite tired and then settle into it so heart rate down heart rate's coming down nicely and then I'll get into this Next heavy block. Okay, my heart rate's back down to 152. It's a tough workout. Ooh, I am definitely feeling this. Just breaking down those 290 watt blocks uh, down to one minute in my head. So obviously it's a five minute block, but breaking down one minute, two minutes. Three minutes, four minutes, five into my kind of rest. My legs are burning, so there's no excuse. But I did do a leg workout last night. Probably not the smartest idea, but I guess it's kind of simulating how my legs are gonna feel after you know, two, three weeks on the road. I'm gonna be very sore, and um, I am gonna ask my body to carry on and keep going. We're coming into the last one a minute and a half of this 145 watt block and then i'll go back into the 290 block as you can see in very sweaty shirt has come off i think now it's time for this to come off as well this is tough but after this one when you get off the bike it's gonna feel so good and if i'm energized my head's gonna feel clearer so so good is why I love it but right now I'm in so much pain although my legs are burning I feel good that's what I'm talking about for some reason later on in the workout it kicks in and get this burst of energy heart rate 173 just finished my fourth block one more to go Start the last block at 290 watts. Here we go, five minutes. That's finished. The last block. Now five minutes warm down. Have something to eat. Chuck on the compression boots and sleep. That was a tough workout. I am feeling extremely hot and sweaty. So I'm trying to do two, three of these workouts a week where I'm raising my heart rate and then the rest are kind of endurance rides. I was originally, originally going to start to taper and I'm getting mixed kind of messages from a lot of people, from friends, from people that are very experienced in cycling industry, coaches saying about when to taper. And in my head, I'm like so confused of when to actually taper. Uh, so what I'm doing in a minute is I'm gradually building back up and then I'm gonna taper over around about 10 days before the event, I'll start to taper. Uh, so last week was 264 kilometers and I'll probably try to up that up to around 364 kilometers. So I am gonna be building up quite a lot until we head off. Now it is Wednesday, um, but this Friday we are four weeks. But right now is where the, the work really happens. So if you've enjoyed this video, if you've enjoyed seeing me sweat quite a lot, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment below. Now, like I said, every video will have the donation link in the description. So please donate to Mindful Oz, which is a mental health charity based in Melbourne. And please click the link below and donate to Mindful Oz Australia. Thank you again. Peace. Mm -hmm.